in this video i'm going to walk you through how to get your voice over from something like this to something something more incredible like that and this is coming up <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here we do Photoshop tutorials and tech videos. If that is something that sounds like you are interested, kindly consider subscribing. So over a couple of years now, I've been recording tutorials and I've been recording all of these tutorials with a voiceover. So in this video, I decided to break it down how I actually record my audio from the starting point what equipment I use and then how I treat the sound from its initial stage into something more incredible like what you are listening to right now. So first of all, let's get into the equipment that I use in recording my video. So the first equipment is the microphone that I use. So I got this microphone from Tonaton at 200 Ghana CDs. It's not any fancy microphone just that it is a condenser microphone and it is doing amazing job i've been using this for close to two years now and it has been incredible right now the second equipment that i use is this particular small sound card that i use to connect the microphone cable to my laptop i record directly into my laptop so in order to do that i get this particular small sound card that i connect to the microphone cable and it does some amazing job so i just connect it to the laptop and i'm good to go for the software that i use i recently made a video on how i record my screen i record directly my sound and everything into the screen recorder and then afterwards i detach the audio and treat it separately and retouch it all again so basically i use wondershare filmora or active presenter to record the screens of my laptop and that is pretty much all that i use in recording my sound so enough of the long intro let's get right into the main reason for this video after i recorded my video i separate the sound from the clip and then i treat it separately using two particular softwares the first one is going to be audacity and then the second one is actually the video editor that i use wondershare filmora so in this video i'm just going to show you exactly how i go about it treating the sound after i've recorded the video all right so first things first let's go into the video editor and this is how a typical video of mine sounds like when i've not treated the sound in this video we're going to look at how to create a church flyer for bible study sections in photoshop and this is coming up all right so i'm going to make use of this particular video that i recently recorded on how to design a bible study flyer in photoshop so basically once i have the video recorded like this all that i'll do is i'll drag it onto my timeline over here i will then play it over and see if the sound is high enough for me else what i'm going to do is i can double click on the sound or on the video over here go to the audio section over here and then i can increase it something like that so something from here and then once i have the volume okay for me i can then go ahead and click okay now after this i'm going to export this as an mp3 because currently it is in mp4 so i'll go to export to mp3 and then i'm going to give this a name so let's say hissing tutorial over here and then i'm going to give it a location so let's export this to the desktop right over here like that so desktop and then i can easily select the folder and when i come to this particular point i'm going to export this as an mp3 we go on to our desktop and then we can find this hissing tutorial over here and now that we have our sound over here we can actually go into audacity and then try to get rid of the background noise and then we can actually also put it into wondershare filmora and work on it some more so first things first let's go into audacity over here audacity is a free software for recording sounds and then editing sound so i'll leave a link in the description if you want to download audacity so let's go to file and then open and then we are going to go straight onto our desktop and we are going to double click on the hissing tutorial that we want so typically what i do before recording every voice over is that i leave between a five second and ten second space 
without talking this helps to capture the background noise and that we are going to use that background noise that we captured to remove all the similar ones in the voiceover but generally you have to get a very serene space if you are not actually recording into a microphone like a condenser microphone because this condenser microphone is a unidirectional microphone that picks sounds from just one source so the moment i'm speaking literally all the sounds around me actually goes mute or very low but if you are recording into something like your phone or any other microphone that is not a unidirectional microphone you actually need to get a very cool place a very serene place so after you've imported your sound over here what you do next is we are going to make a selection so the five seconds that we left is around this area so you realize that from this point up to where we started speaking there is nothing going on over there so we are going to make a selection over there this looks very white and then we we'll go to the effects over here and we go to noise reduction now at this point you can set the noise reduction decibel over here so this is the settings that i normally use and it works fine for every voiceover that i record so i'm going to click on the get noise profile over here and then it is going to sample that background noise that you've actually asked it to sample now the next thing you do is you hit on ctrl plus a to select the entire sound so the first one is going to be based on the first five seconds or the 10 seconds and the rest is going to be on all the voice so you press ctrl a to select all of that go to effect and then you go back to the noise reduction again and this time around you are just going to click on ok because you've actually sampled the noise that you wanted to remove so basically it is going to take time to apply the noise reduction over here now what i want you to pay attention from here is this bass going on right over here you realize that after the noise has been reduced these bars are going to drop drastically so let's wait until this has fully been applied so you realize from here that the bars have dropped a little bit and that means that the sound has been and you can even see the difference from this point if you check from the very beginning you can just skip back a little bit and check how it actually looks now and this is just a disclaimer i'm not making this video based on the point of professionalism as a sound engineer or anything i'm just sharing exactly what works for me so after this what i basically or normally do is i go back to the effect again and then go to to this particular one called the filter curve eq now if you are using previous versions of audacity you might actually have this as equalizer or something like that so you click on the filter curve over here and i've already set my filter curve to about 3 db so you can actually drag it down or up a little bit and then you can even make it in this type but normally what i do is i make sure that it stays on the same line so i can come to this point here and drag it to about 6 db if you want it but this has been working well for me so what we actually do is we leave it over here and then we can click ok and once this also applies it is also going to drop the sound bars a little bit down like this and yes this is exactly what we have currently there are other more effects that you can do like the normalization but these two effects work best for me so at this point what i do is i go to file and then export the voice that i've treated as an mp3 so i export it as mp3 and let's say that we want to export it to desktop to hissing tutorial so we give it a name hissing tutorial edited so something like that and then you can save this one as well so you click on ok and then it is going to also take time to export to your desktop and now your voice has been exported to your desktop so over here we have our hissing tutorial edited and now this voice is ready to be sent into our editor and then we get we can actually use it for the video so let's go back to wondershare filmora this is the actual sound that we recorded so we can go to import you double click over here and then you can import the treated voiceover so i import it like this and basically since i record straight into my screen recorder i can easily drag my sound underneath of my video and then it automatically syncs but if you are recording 
separately from let's say a camera and then you are recording the sound into something separately like audacity you might actually have to take your time to sync your voice properly now let's see something from here you can see even from here that this sound this one and this one there are so many differences especially if you look at the first few seconds back here, you see that there are so many going on here but if you look at the treated sound from the first five seconds you realize that the everything has been dropped and that means that all the background sound at that point has been dropped in wondershare filmora you can actually add a bit of effect onto your sound if you are using a different software like adobe premiere pro you can actually download plugins that you can use to work on your sound a little more but let me show you how to do that in wondershare filmora so over here we can come to the sound now this mean sound from our main video is muted so we are working with this particular sound so we can double click on this particular sound or this track and then we can go to the equalizer over here currently it is at default so we can actually click on this one now the one that i use mostly is called techno from this point but there are also different ones from here you can play around with all of that so i choose techno from here and then i go to the customize section over here and i can actually play with the customized equalizer so what you can actually do is you can play around with all of these equalizers over here and you can play back to see how it actually sounds like and check if it works best for you so normally what i do is i open up this first line over here and bring this one also up over here now this may actually also be dependent on how you sound if you have a very thin voice like me you can actually play around with it or if you have a very deep voice as well you can also play around with all of these ones so you take your time to play around with all of these ones and once you have the sound that you want you can then go ahead and click ok and yeah at this point you can then go ahead and work on your video cut everything and then you can export it and upload it onto youtube links to all the things that i mentioned in this video will be in the description so you can check it out if you want to get any of the gears that i use to record my videos and yeah that will be pretty much it for this video i hope you gained value out of this if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated don't forget that i've already made a video on how to record your screen with wondershare filmora and active presenter differently so you might want to check that video up all links will be in the description thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye